Good morning, Greg. Good morning. It's really exciting to have you here and learn about Care to Try. Greg, I'll ask you, how did Care to Try begin? Well, I used to be an athlete. Um, then I fell into some pretty destructive patterns in my life, which involved um, heavy drinking, overeating. Um, and I realized that um, I was the furthest thing away from the leader that I'd always wanted to be. So with that, um, I identified my passion, identified some goals, and my purpose. And the purpose became getting involved in athletics, which is for me was triathlon, and also helping others, which involved people with disabilities. So I pull these individuals through races with me and adaptive equipment. That is a beautiful uh, thing. Stephanie, how did you become involved and what role do you play? Well, I'm the vice president of the board of directors now, but I began by volunteering when Greg called and said he needed a photographer for his program. Um, he was asking for my husband, Alan, who actually has a disability. And it turned out we thought he was calling because he wanted to pull Alan through a race. So we still laugh over that today. And um, as, uh, as vice president of, of the board of directors, what do, what do you do that's different than what Greg does as far as your position? In my position, I do a lot of the back-end stuff. I set up the races. I uh, make sure there's disabled individuals, make sure there's volunteers out at the races. Um, I'm the one that sets up a lot of the speaking engagements and the fundraisers, things like that. You, um, I, I looked at your uh, Facebook page there's, and, and your page on Facebook, and there's lots of um, very cool pictures and, uh, you know, um, in the water and, um, very bright and cheerful and, and so, and, and water is very soothing anyway. Um, so I would imagine that that's, you know, why you are doing what you're doing. Greg, what is, um, the exact mission of Care to Try? You know, it's twofold. <clears throat> the first part of it is to promote the inclusion of these people, um, because they are people. Um, well, oftentimes they're confined to wheelchairs, they're looked at differently in society, and we really want to be an advocate for them, but we also want to include them in something that otherwise they wouldn't have the opportunity to do. Uh, and the second part of it is, I'm sure there's a lot of Gregs that were, uh, were, at, were where I was four years ago, sitting on the couch, overweight, drinking, smoking, um, and I want to provide that motivation and encouragement for them to show them that, yes, you can change. All it takes is the um, decision to do it, and to look outside of yourself to foster that change. It's not all about you, despite what um, society teaches. It's not all about you. And I hope people can look at what I've done. And again, I'm just the average person, so I'm not anything extraordinary. Look at what I've done and just follow that and give back. It, it truly is all about giving back. I mean, here you went and transformed yourself and drew many, many people in. And, you know, to draw people in with disabilities and want to give back to the community. It's, it's, it's just, it's awesome. There's nothing better. Greg, what is Care to Try About Other Days? Well, that that's um, something we're doing on October 28th. The county's behind a, a big race down in Venice. Um, it's a half Ironman distance, which is a 70-mile race. We'll be pulling five different people that day. Uh, the pros are going to be, there's going to be a lot of pros there. It's going to be a nationally televised event. What we're trying to do is get as many people um, in wheelchairs, as many of their family members, and just supporters to be at the finish line. We want to make this um, different than any triathlon that's ever existed. We want to have so much support at the end. And again, it's support for the people we're pulling, um, support for the people like them that don't get that often. That is October 28th in Venice. Where will that take place? I believe the, the hub is at Sharky's. If you, um, you know, you could go to our website at caretotry.org and we'd be more than happy to you know, we have volunteer needs for those people. So go to our website, go to the contact page, send an email, um, and we'd be more than happy to plug you in. We have, um, yeah, many needs. Greg, uh, you are um, very young. Uh, I'll, I'll share with my listeners, you're very good looking, and you're very passionate. What would you tell someone that is in the midst of a change in their life and they have come against much adversity? I'll tell you that change is hard. It's never easy. Even through my decision four years ago, I still, even now, struggle. I mean, I'm going through a divorce. I've got, I've got personal issues, too. By having this larger goal, by having a purpose, 
And by having it not all revolve around me, I have not gone back to my destructive behaviors. But I'll tell you, if I didn't have, you know, the people that I'm racing with, the people that I don't even know I'm going to race with, um, I could have fallen back into it. So I'm no different than the average everyday person. You got to fight. It's a fight. Um, you didn't become who you are overnight. So to think that you're going to change it overnight, it just doesn't make sense. It's a fight. And you just got to stay with it and keep going. Well, Stephanie, let me ask you, how has Care to Try impacted you? Well, Care to Try has changed my life definitely, for sure. Um, first of all, I was thrilled when I met Greg and Alan and I met him um, in his motto of promoting individuals with disabilities. Because with Alan's obvious disability, we understand how society reacts to that. And with someone like Greg who does not have a disability to want to promote them, it was something close to our heart. Secondly, I too at one point was very overweight and unhealthy. Um, when I joined Care to Try, I learned that finding that purpose that goes beyond myself helps keep, helps keep you going and helps motivate you to keep going for that purpose besides just worrying about yourself or looking at yourself. Well, I I know you. I I know Alan. I think you are amazing. I think Alan's amazing. Greg, I think you're amazing. What do you see, Greg, as the future of Care to Try? You know, I would hope that uh, we would create a movement. We would leave an imprint on society when we're all long gone and dead. That, not to be morbid, but you know, we we want to leave something. We want to um, we want to create a movement. We want to stand up for these people that you know not a lot of people are standing up for. So that would be my hope, um, and we would hope to eventually get to the point where we can have different programs to assist these people and assist their families. They have so many needs. Um, and it's very expensive. I mean, a lot of the things that they need to do, their vans, you know, forty, fifty thousand um, dollars. There's just a lot of different needs. So I would, I would love to be able to create some programs to help these people. Well, that's um, a, a wonderful goal, Stephanie. Uh, can you tell our listeners what are Care to Try's needs and wants at this time? Um, at this time, we're of course in need of donations, which can be made on our website. Um, but we are also in need of some updated equipment. We do use adaptive equipment. If you look at our website, you'll see the joggers and the bike carts and the different things that we use. We are in need of updated. Um, we are also in need of a trailer or some form of a small truck to haul this equipment around to different races. Um, as it stands now, we travel the state. We've got races in Miami coming up. We've got races all over the state. So. You know, it's been tough on us using two and three vehicles to get the equipment to race. It'd be nice to have one vehicle to throw all of this in and, and get it out there. Um, additionally, you know, the money goes towards travel. It goes through time. There's equipment. There's helmets. There's shoes. There's all these little things you don't think about when you're doing, you know, if you've never done a triathlon. But it takes sponsors and it takes money to be able to do these things. Well, uh, for our listeners, uh, you can reach... Stephanie and Greg at uh, caretotry.org. That's care number two, try.org. Or 799 1680, Mark your calendar for October 28th in Venice. Check their website as far as where the triathlon will begin, even just to come out and watch and feel good and donate a couple dollars to see um, you know, this wonderful organization and who they help. It's amazing. Again, care2try.org. Thank you so much for sharing with our listeners. You're listening to Gail Shane and Friends 